This is the Test Administrator Training Module for Oregon's Statewide Assessment System, required for all district and school test coordinators, as well as all test administrators. The Oregon Department of Education developed a guidance document in 2019 that replaces what used to be called our Best Practices Manual. The document is called the Right Assessment for the Right Purpose and is available on the assessment team's website within the Test Administration Resources section. The document provides definitions for critical terms in our Oregon statewide assessment system and in other areas where Oregon students are assessed in terms of academic achievement, behavior, or other constructs as part of their instructional programs. The document also addresses current questions and appropriate uses and, perhaps just as importantly, misuses of statewide summative assessment data. It is critical that educators in Oregon use assessments for the purposes for which they are designed and have the sufficient technical adequacy documentation. We also want to share that this document does not address any concerns outside of the K-12 student assessment context, nor does it provide the final word on assessment literacy in Oregon. It is published with the intended goal of beginning conversations about assessment literacy, which we know will evolve and increase in accuracy and complexity over time. This training module is the first of the required modules for test administrators and should be followed with the training modules that cover accessibility supports and test security. Additionally, TAs are required to review the module or modules for the specific assessment or assessments they will be administering. Each training module is intended to provide an overview of the major topics as well as an orientation to the manuals and other resources available to support TAs before, during, and after testing. This training module includes an overview of the roles and responsibilities for test administrators, student participation in statewide assessments, testing environment requirements, and provides additional resources. The responsibilities of a test administrator are not limited to testing day. Preparation before testing should include providing students with an opportunity to become familiar with testing formats. Test administrators should consult all relevant documentation for identifying which students to test and which accessibility supports to provide, as well as making arrangements for students who are not testing, such as students who finish earlier than their peers during a test session. During testing, it is the TA's responsibility to ensure students receive the appropriate test and actively monitor students to maintain a secure testing environment. After testing, TAs can check participation reports to monitor student progress for completion of tests. The following section will explore student participation. The expected participation by grade level for each tested subject is shown on this slide. Please note that participation requirements are set by federal statute and a 95% threshold is expected for subject areas. Except for the English language proficiency assessment where every student meeting the inclusion requirements is expected to participate. Locally developed testing schedules that adhere to the statewide assessment windows should guide TAs as to which assessments will be administered to which students and when. Consult the locally developed testing plans to ensure students are administered the right test at the right time. Prior to testing, TAs must be aware of which supports students will need and that all preparations have been made to ensure those supports are available during testing. Awareness and planning in these areas contribute to increased student participation. Please consult Section 6, Planning for Test Administration, in the Test Administration Manual for more information. This is an optional point in the required training to pause and discuss the questions provided, or any locally developed set of relevant questions. If you would like to pause, please pause now.
This section will explore testing environments. After the trained TA sets up the test session and students begin testing, those students must be supervised by the TA until the end of the testing session. The testing environment must be quiet and void of distractions or educational materials posted on the walls that might provide students with an advantage. Students may only have access to supports from the Oregon Accessibility Manual that are administered according to the rules set out in that manual. TAs need to limit their interaction with students to ensure consistency in testing environments across schools and districts. This includes reading the student directions verbatim, following the TAM and the OAM, and never coaching students. To facilitate this limited interaction during testing, it is a best practice to prepare students before testing by explaining what will be allowed and what will not be allowed in the testing environment. A secure testing environment will be addressed in more depth in the test security training module. In the following section, we will provide an overview of Oregon's testing portal. The Oregon Statewide Assessment System Portal is accessible to users by visiting osasportal.org. Students only use the portal to access the sample test. Announcements that impact the portal or testing are posted to the landing page and anyone may register to receive automatic alerts for these announcements. A TA user account includes access to multiple components within the OSAS portal. The Test Information Distribution Engine is used to view and edit student test settings as well as monitor testing progress. The TA interface is used to create a testing session to administer test. The Centralized Reporting System is used to view performance reports. TA user accounts are granted by testing coordinators after the completion of the annual required training and submission of a signed assurance of test security form please consult your locally developed processes and procedures for obtaining an OSAS portal user account for the current school year. Here is a screenshot of the options presented to a TA after selecting test administrator on the OSAS portal landing page. In section one, a user may select tied to edit student settings or to access the training sites to become familiar with the testing interface before administering an operational test. In Section 2, TAs will set up an active operational testing session and administer tests using the TA interface. TAs can also access the ELPA Braille Data Entry Interface. In Section 3, this allows the user to access reports to view participation and performance results. The following is a screenshot of the Reset Your Password page. As mentioned before, TA user accounts are granted by testing coordinators after the completion of the annually required training. User accounts granted during a previous school year have been rolled over into the new academic year. Once the testing coordinator creates your account, TIDE sends you an activation email. This email contains a link that takes you to the Reset Your Password page in Tide, where you can set up your password for logging into Tide and other applicable Cambium assessment systems. This link expires 15 minutes after the email was sent. If you do not set up your password within 15 minutes, you need to request a new link. If you do not receive an activation email, check your spam folder. Emails are sent from a do not reply at cambiumassessment.com account, so you may need to add this address to your contact list. You need to request a password reset in any of the following situations. One, you forgot your password. Two, you didn't activate your account within 15 minutes of receiving the activation email. Or three, the Tide administrator locked your account. To request a password reset, click either of the links included in the activation email 
or go to the Tide login page and click Forgot Your Password. The Reset Your Password Find Account page will appear. Enter your Tide email address and click Submit. If you have already activated your account, your security question appears. Enter the response to the security question and click Submit. Tide sends you an email containing a link to reset your password. If you have not yet activated your account, Tide sends you an email containing a link to reset your password. Test administrators access the test delivery system through the OSAS portal. The student interface can only be accessed through the current year secure browser. The secure browser for all supported operating systems can be downloaded from the OSAS portal. Please refer to the secure browser section located on the main page. The TA interface is accessed through the test administration option in the OSAS portal. The screenshot shown on this slide is the Proctor application landing page TAs will see when first logging into the test delivery system. TAs will create a test session by selecting the Start a New Session Now button in the lower right hand corner of the landing page. The green assignment tab at the top of the page is an available remote option for administering the seed survey. For more information specific to administering the seed survey using the assignment option, please refer to the seed survey training module 9. In order to administer a test session, test administrators must access the TA interface. The TA interface is accessed through the test administration option on the OSAS portal landing page. The following is a sample screenshot of an active test session. It is through this interface that TAs can locate and view the test session ID, identify which students need approval to begin testing in the session, identify which students currently have a test in progress, and finally, which students have submitted a print request. The following slides will walk through setting up a testing session. After a test session is set up and students log in, the TA must approve students before they will be able to begin testing. A TA may approve all students at once or one at a time. This final confirmation is an important step as it is the last opportunity the TA has to ensure each student is beginning the text correctly and with all of the appropriate settings. The student settings may be accessed by clicking on the view or eye symbol this will open a new window where all settings can be viewed and some may be changed. Please consult the proper documentation and the OAM when changing accessibility support settings for students. After a student begins a test, the options for addressing any errors are drastically reduced. Errors in test settings caught after a student begins a test may constitute an impropriety and result in an invalidation of the student's test and loss of the student's testing opportunity. The following slide shows the five step student login process with screenshots of what the student will see at each step. Note in step one that each student will need the unique session ID. As a reminder, the session ID is accessed through the TA interface. Additionally, student names must be typed in exactly how their legal name appears within the system. After signing in, additional information such as the student's birthday and school will be displayed so that student can confirm they are logging into their own account. Once confirmed, the student will be presented with a list of tests that they have access to. It is important to be aware that students will not be able to select a test if 
it was not included in the session, even if that student is eligible for that test. After the student selects the test, they will be shown the waiting for approval screen until the TA approves their test. After approval, the student will be shown one more confirmation screen that will include the test settings. This is the final opportunity for the student to ensure they have the correct settings in place. As a note, for science and ELPA assessments, instead of the audio playback check page, students will see a sound and video playback check page that will ask students to verify that they can view the sample video and hear its associated sound. This is another opportunity or optional point in the required training to pause and discuss the questions provided or any locally developed set of relevant questions. If you would like to pause, please pause now. In addition to completing the required modules, test administrators also have the following reading requirements. Sections 1 through 7 of the TAM. Sections 8 through 11 of the TAM based on the specific test the TA will be administering. Appendix A, which covers the statewide test schedule, and the Oregon Accessibility Manual to become familiar with which accessibility supports are available for students. The following test administration resources are available within this presentation as well as on the ODE assessment web pages. This concludes the test administrator training module.